Hi guys, it's Cole Barker here from the Boathouse Black Bottle Bay. And uh, today we're just going to run through a few of uh, our little tricks of the trade in regards to oysters. The biggest sin I believe nowadays is people shucking too early or um, getting someone else to shuck them. I mean, we're very, very lucky we've got the facilities to do it. In the introduction of fresh water is probably the worst thing that you can do. So each of these oysters, each region has going to have its own special story with that liquid in there. It's going to have its own, you know, sort of uh, unique flavour. So what we want to do is retain that. So the biggest thing with these guys now is in the handling and shucking of them. So, uh, you know, shuckers, we use these little fellas. They are sort of the cheapest on the market, but we find them to be the most effective. Uh, a lot of people will shuck from the front of an oyster and come in underneath. What we do is we come in from the hinge. So uh, there's a lot of contraptions out there nowadays. You can buy um, claws, you can buy gloves, all sorts of things. We use the humble tea towel. It's just doubled over a couple of times. Now, one little trick we've developed over the years is once you've got your tea towel laid out fairly flat, is we create a little bit of a rise in one end. And when you get your little oyster and you pop it in there, it'll hold the hinge up towards you to give you better access with the knife. You've got two plates here. There's only two points holding this oyster together. You've got this little dark patch in the back here, which is the hinge, and then you've got the adductor muscle sitting up in here. So the first trick is just to pop that hinge, and then we'll move on to the adductor muscle. Now, everyone thinks that opening oysters is about horsepower. Uh, one of two things is going to happen. If you're leaning on an oyster, really hard, um, chances are you're going to stab the oyster or you're going to stab yourself. So it's a really, really light technique and it's just about finding the sweet spot. So to ensure your hand's nice and safe, throw over and then we double the towel back across and then it means that if you miss, you should get a towel. You can tell the new guys in the kitchen, so they're the ones with the holes in their left hand. So uh, the shuck's got a little cover on the back there just to stop a bit of shell going up under your nail if you do happen to slip. And then it's just a matter of finding the sweet spot on that oyster which is click in there, bring it up, sever the shell, and nip that adductor muscle off. And by doing it that way, you retain all that juice for that oyster. Now, where a lot of people have a tendency to think that, you know, to get the grit out, you've got to run it, run it under a tap. Um, all you're gonna do there is make your oysters taste like Warragamba Dam. So what we do is we have a little damp pastry brush. So it's just wet bristles, there's no excess moisture in there. We get this out of our salt water tanks for holding our seafood and we just use it there to flip out any little tiny pieces of shell that we may have left behind. So that's pretty much it. That's the trade secrets that uh, we do down here at the boathouse. Brought to you by Cookers the future of cooking oils.